Hey, Aaron. Hi, Morgan. How's it going? Good. How are you? Good. Do you love our new um, stream transition art? I cannot tell you how much I love it. We are the cutest dads and yes. I love us very much. And I love Colin for creating that. Yes. So much. It, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty so much, good. it's pretty much the best thing ever. I know it uh, makes me so happy. Uh, it anyway, have to become my desktop background. Ooh, that's a good call. I should download that. It's a little We're busy on... for a desktop background, but I don't know if I care. <laughs> We're working on merch too. So everyone yeah, keep an are. eye out for that. Cause we just had some ideas that were too good not to do. So, yep. um, yeah, anyway, so do we want to, what are, what's our plan today? <laughs> what are we well, doing? So since we're starting a little bit later, um, it looks like we have a notification from Matt. So I vote that we date Matt. And then if we have time, we check in with Robert and see what happens. Okay. So we have done every single, oh no, we haven't done, we haven't done Joseph yet. Okay. So we could do Matt, take a break and then do Joseph and just check in with Robert at the start of the next stream um if yeah we want to do that but let, i vote we start with matt see okay. what time it is when we're done with matt and okay. decide from there so that being said why don't we do do you want to do the first date with matt or do you want to check what this matt notification is let's see what the notification is and probably okay. that'll segue us into a date right something yeah something like that it won't be the official first date but oh it won't be something mm -mm. oh well, yeah, let's check and oh. see what this is, and then let's go on a date with Matt. Okay. Well, here it is. Hey, Lars, what are your feelings about poker? Beyond hardly knowing her. <laughs> Jeez. Poker? <laughs> I hardly know her. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> there it is. Well, good talk. Wait, I actually like poker. I just saw the joke, and I had to take the shot. Please, Matt, I'm a dad. I'm contractually obligated. No, no, I get that. Anyway, we've been playing weekly poker games and I figured I should send an invite your way. That sounds great. I love losing money. <laughs> cool, dude. See you soon. Lose All right. that money. If we're going to do it, let's go. Let's see what happens. Dad tip number 32. You can't beat the whammy bar. <laughs> Dad tip number one. Don't forget to floss every day. If life gives you lemons, parsley, onion, and eggs, make a really nice omelet. That was dad <laughs> tip 57. <laughs> oh, don't trust anyone who likes their meat well done. Yikes, I guess nobody trusts me then. You're one of those people, huh? I view steak as a vehicle for A1 sauce. And <laughs> I do not like it if it is any rarer than medium well. It's all right. There's time to fix you. No, it's, I'm 37 <laughs> years old. I'm as fixed as I'm going to get. I just... I don't, I don't like more rare meat. It's a texture thing. I don't Fair like enough. it. Fair enough. All right. Oh, everyone's, um, Colin made a face at me. Morgan's mad at me. Dan's yelling at me in the chat. <laughs> it's okay. I love you despite your flaws. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you know also, what? My, <laughs> my, my meat preferences don't really impact anybody else except I guess my husband who has to watch me eat steak cooked way more than he prefers it to be cooked but <laughs> that's true <laughs> but you know oh kyle wants to know what we're yelling at aaron about everyone's yelling her... at me because i like my meat medium well yeah there you go i will eat it well done i prefer it medium well but i will <laughs> eat it well done well that's like some pink so that's good yeah I just, uh, I'm like having a reaction just thinking about watching my husband <laughs> eat his medium rare on the more rare side. <laughs> oh, I hate it. All nope. right. Well, okay. Well, every, us... everybody in the chat hates me. So let's go play poker. <laughs> yeah. Let's find out if we have to do a poker mini game or not, which I really hope we don't. So. All right. Matt invited me to a poker night at Joseph's house. I put on my going out coat and walk over. Across the way, I spot Matt, who's walking over from his own house. He's got a case of beer under his arm. Crap, I should have brought something. Hey, man. Crap, I should have brought something. 
Uh, no worries, man. It's God, that was so awkward. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay. Uh, no worries, man. It's your first time. Just bring a full wallet. How long have you guys been at this for? Years, buddy. Just a nice way to keep in touch with the guys. It's never really high stakes. We pass through the fence, enclosing Joseph's backyard. Craig, Brian, and Joseph ho hover around the patio, drinking beer and chatting. Robert sits in the corner, brooding as usual. Quite frankly, I'm shocked that Robert is here. Right? I know. I mean, he seems like a guy who would be down for poker, but he does not, not seem them. like a guy who would be down for social time. Mm -hmm. So. Precisely. Lars, glad you could make it. Oh, so am I. <laughs> I'm psyched to take all your money. Just like old times. Craig's the resident shark. We prefer the term person who's good at poker. I'm well aware. Craig's always been suspiciously good at poker. Are you still as terrible as you were in college? Poker face or tell the truth? Hmm. Um, I'm leaning poker face. All right. Hey, I wasn't terrible. I'm not bad at poker. I'm definitely good at poker. This is yeah, just see, like I the fishing to, thing all over again. <laughs> I wanted to do poker face because I knew that either way we were going to tell the truth. <laughs> right? <laughs> Everyone stares at me. Okay, maybe that was a little defensive. Okay, I'm, I'm bad at poker. There's no way you're as bad as Joseph. Joseph shrugs. This is basically my tithing. I'm giving back to the community. Plus, I'm happy. <laughs> Plus, I'm happy to just sit here and eat all of Brian's snacks. Guess who brought pigs in a blanket? Not Craig. <laughs> hey, my chia seed and granola energy balls are just as delicious. Everybody laughs. Lars will eat your balls, Craig. <laughs> Let's just get the game going. We all take a seat at the table and Matt starts dealing cards. The first couple rounds go by easily as I'm getting the hang of things, but it's obvious that Craig is running the show here. Craig, how did you get so good at this? It's pretty easy. You just start getting a feel for everybody's tell. Like Matt will scratch his ear. Hey, Brian adjusts his pants when he's trying to lie. Okay, <laughs> awkward. Yep. <laughs> now, wait a second. And I, and I think you just loudly announced to the whole room when you have a good hand. Yeah, yep, that's me. What's Joseph's tell? Everything, literally everything. That man is an open book. He couldn't lie if he tried. Well, at least I have God on my side. <laughs> See, you can't even say that with a straight face. What about Robert? <sighs> Honestly, the man's an enigma. Robert raises his glass of whiskey to us in a solemn salute. I think he'd wipe the floor with us if he actually tried. I'm just here because I enjoy the company. That is some bullshit, Robert. <laughs> Robert pulls out his phone and stares at it. See? Bullshit. <laughs> Robert, is that a flip phone? Yeah. What, are you a drug dealer now? Yeah, what do you need? Horse, speed, Tijuana Johnny's? I can get you the street stuff easy, but if you're looking for something exotic or a designer that's maybe 72 hours in a favor, that's maybe 72 hours in a favor called. Maybe I won't need you today, maybe I won't need you tomorrow, but someday. Oh, I don't really, I, I think I'm good. Right, but still, if you got the coin, I got the goods. <laughs> Dot, dot, dot. I dropped my phone in the toilet and this is a backup until I can get it replaced under warranty. <laughs> Everyone murmurs their sympathies. We've all been there. We go back to playing. I really got to stop eating these pigs in a blanket. Pigs in blankets? I don't know, but they're very good. I think there might be cheese in them. Oh, I don't know if I got enough to raise you on this round. You can always bet your firstborn. 
you think he can handle another one, be my guest. Briar and Hazel are a handful, to say the least. Buddy, you think three kids is a handful? Try four. I'm operating at 100% dad capacity at all times. Actually, it's technically five. Christine saw a commercial for one of those dolls that poop and wouldn't stop asking for it. We ended up getting it for her and her birthday, but she's so grossed out by the fake baby poop that she makes me change its diapers. So now I'm changing the real baby and the fake baby. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> There's just a lot of poop in my household right now. Daisy got one of those a while back. One night I walk in on her after she tried to take the doll apart to see how the poop mechanism worked, but she couldn't put it back together and started crying. Poop everywhere. Fake poop, but still. That reminds me of dot, dot, dot. Wait, do we all have poop doll stories? Everyone <laughs> nods in agreement. Guys, I really don't need any more poop in my life than there is already. Can we just get back to the poker and not talk about poop? Matt deals another hand and we quickly forget about the poop. We run out of pigs and blankets, so we switch over to Craig's healthy snack food. It actually isn't terrible. These kale chips are phenomenal. We should sell these at the coffee shop. It's my own recipe. I'd be happy to give it to you guys. I could see it now. Pierce the kale chips. Dot, dot, dot. Pierce the Veil is a popular post-hardcore screamo band out of San Diego. We all look at Matt confused. It's, uh, it's maybe not any of your wheelhouses. How's the shop nowadays? Busy as ever. I'm toying with the idea of hiring out another person to work the counter, but I haven't found a good candidate. Ooh, Lars needs a job. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If Amanda's looking for a summer gig, let me know. That's really nice of you, but I think she's been burned too badly by coffee shops before. Literally, not figuratively. Matt cocks his head to the side. I'll ask her, though. Is Amanda the only one that works in this family? Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he's going to have such a hard time putting her through college. Right? Because he has no money, because he has no job. Mm -hmm. We get down to the final hand of the night, and it's Craig in the lead by a landslide. Joseph has long since lost all of his chips and is taken to tidying up, refusing any help from the rest of us. Brian deals us all cards. So what's it going to take for Robert to give a damn on this round? Robert looks up from his half-empty glass of whiskey. Do you really want to unleash the beast? Well, now I'm curious. Got a long history being a gambling man, but I'll only do it if you make it interesting. None of this penny chip nonsense. I got a Lily's 18-year single blend sitting in my closet right now. Saving it for when River turns 21, but I'm willing to put it up as collateral. Now you're talking my language. He throws the keys to his truck on the table. <laughs> well. She's seen better days, but she can still pull a tree trunk out of the ground. Nope. <laughs> Myself and everyone else at the table immediately folds. Deal the cards, bry guy. Are you guys sure you want to... You heard the man. Deal. Brian deals the next round of cards. Craig stares daggers at Robert, who casually sips his whiskey. Dan in the chat posits that they're about to play strip poker. That would be amazing. That would be so amazing. So I know what you might be thinking. Robert put his old workhorse up for grabs. His only mode of transportation at times in his life is only home. How could he be so sure of his abilities in gambling? I'll tell you right now, Craig. It wasn't always like this. It was a lot like you. Smart, talented, cocksure of my own luck. Great biceps. It didn't last long, though. I lost everything in a game of pie gal in the back room of a Shenzhen tea house on what I thought was a three-day business trip. Everything gone, clothes, money, identification, you name it. I woke up in a ditch near Shaishu Park and had to make my life new from there. It took me three years to beg, borrow, and steal my way back to American soil. And in those three years, I saw the greatest depths of human fear, loved deeper than I ever had, and lost it all many more times over. I've seen my own death, Craig. I know how I die. It's not like this. So let's make this more interesting. Robert produces the deed to his house from his jacket, you know, a normal thing that people just carry around, <laughs> and tosses it on the table. Why is he like this? I don't know. 
<laughs> but I'm very glad he came to poker night. <laughs> right? All I have and all I am. Are you prepared to go the distance? <laughs> Crab, Crab, Crab? Crab, you know, our good buddy, Crab. <laughs> our college friend, Crab. Yeah. <laughs> Craig wipes the sweat from his brow. He studies Robert's face intently, searching for any sort of tell that he can find. Robert casually sips his whiskey again. I... I fold. Everyone erupts. Fine, fine. The whiskey's yours. And that's why you don't dance with the devil. So what was it? Were you bluffing or did you have the cards? That's for me to take to my grave, fellas. Oh, <laughs> Robert, you dog. <laughs> <laughs> Next week, boys. Next week. You got it. I'll be there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, does Lars say sure thing or I almost had a heart attack? <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll I sign think... him up for weekly poker nights. I you mean, I want him to I go almost to had a heart attack. Yeah, I want him to go to weekly poker, but I do think that he would just announce I almost had a heart attack. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> Welcome to the exclusive club of people who are a little terrified of Robert. Oh, right. honey, we, we've been there. <laughs> we've been in that club since our first day in the neighborhood. <laughs> we all say our goodbyes and head our separate ways. Well, that was fun. That was fun. And you're right, that was the official first date with Matt. So let's do our first date with Matt. Let's do it. All right. Matt Sella, avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You can find me most days selling bean juice over at the Coffee Spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about 80s no wave music. Matt, on a Friday night, are you most likely to perfect my cold brew setup one drip at a time, baby? If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. Matt, what are your turn-ons? Hmm, multi-instrumentalism. What did you want to be when you grew up, Matt? A barista, weirdly enough. Oh, apropos. <laughs> Matt, what's your favorite movie genre? Definitely shit with subtitles. What's your ideal date? We go to the animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. You seriously consider it, but you don't do it? What a bad date. <laughs> I seriously consider adopting every cat I see, so I know the feeling. Yeah, that's a, if you don't actually adopt the cat, that's not a good date. Mm. What do you never leave home without? My headphones, both in-ear and over-ear, just in case. What do you spend a lot of time thinking about, Matt? Where did writing commas into song titles come from and where did it go? Did we all just agree that it's a bad idea? Interesting. All right. <laughs> all right. Let's message Matt. So there's probably going to be a lot of like music references in this one that we yep. don't recognize. I'm not going to get any of them. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Dad tip number eight, drink a full glass of water in the morning to help wake up. It works. I navigate to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. Hey man, great getting to see you at the barbecue and also poker last night. We should Thanks. definitely hang soon. You free later? A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Soundgarden. Want to come out? I think for a moment. What's a Soundgarden? Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listened to back when it was cool to have soul patches. Yeah, that's, I thought it was a band. Yeah. I mean, it's in the, in this context, it's clearly a concert venue, but okay. right. While I'm thinking another message pops up on the screen. Yeah. Pop is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's get out of our comfort zone. Oh. I log off of dad book and I think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? 
I mentally backtrack decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Oh God, I had a mullet back then. Oh God, I thought it was cool. Oh God, other people thought it was cool. <laughs> I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of their airbrushed vans in the parking lot. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Anyway, what's up? Amanda, how do I be cool? Let me put on a pot of coffee first. This is gonna be a long night. No, seriously, Matt invited me to a concert and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Yeah, you have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh, oh God, I tried so hard to forget. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Dad, it was so much more than that and I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seemed pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your Trapper Keeper. Aww. Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Anyway, you should be all set for the concert if you remember that. Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in. Well, it's at a smaller place and I think Matt mentioned that they're a dot 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 punk dot 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 band. <laughs> Like DIY gutter punk, thrash, straight edge? Come on, dad, give me something to work with here. Are they post-punk, proto-punk, C-punk, Jeremy punk? What's Jeremy punk? I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. Dot, dot, dot. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Um, he said that they're dot, 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 Canadian dot, 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 punk. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. <laughs> Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. What I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. Dot, dot, dot. Tracy says that friendship and politeness is the most punk. And I agree. I also agree. <laughs> That's it? I mean, yeah. It's not like you're going to jump into the mosh pit or anything. Well, that's comforting. And if a strange dude in a set your goals hoodie offers to buy you merch, don't accept it. And definitely don't go on three awful dates with him afterward where he takes you to a nice restaurant and forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. I don't know if that's a, some kind of like a movie reference or if that actually happened to her. I feel like that happened to her. I think so too. But man, okay. Well, I show up to the coffee spoon at eight in what I hope is concert appropriate attire. I see Matt out front locking the door to the shop. Hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Well, it's been a while. Yes, of course, I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? I was born ready. I feel I'm, like the middle one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm leaning towards the middle one. You better believe it, fellow live music lover. Grab those ticks and let's mosh that new. Oh, God. What? New, short for venue. You know, where you go to see dope certs. <laughs> You just making this stuff up right now? Aw, oh, man. I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since... Bleh. I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks were cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and scream cries? Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. 
I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is going to be awesome. Just hang with me, Lars, and you'll be good. This scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Aw. Quick question. Shoot. What is dot 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 scene? (laughs) Matt lets out a tiny laugh. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as it pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but it can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off into middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking (laughs) never again. Amazing. That's confusing. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. Let's do it. Yay. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. My waning youth is showing. I am suddenly aware of my mortality. When were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is C-punk actually a genre? (laughs) Matt, you made it. A younger kid runs up and high-fives Matt. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high-five me. Me too. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? That's my favorite thing to do. A couple other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell hey as well. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. He seems really in his element here. Matt turns his attention back to me. Interesting that he seems in his element when he's just admitted that he does not like crowds. Uh Uh-huh. And then he says, I am so afraid of all these people. (laughs) There we go. Oh. (laughs) Let's go grab a beer. I love that beer is capitalized. Yeah, I know. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of the older concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Uh, yeah, I I go to a lot of shows. This is a really cool spot. But it's time like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are and that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. God damn it, where do I put my tongue? (laughs) See? I know exactly where you can put your tongue, Lars. (laughs) Ha (laughs) ha. Well, dot, dot, dot. I've known you for more than five minutes, and I still think you're charming and funny. Smooth. Just you wait. We grab our drinks. This, dot, 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 scene dot 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 seems really friendly i don't know why people (laughs) dot 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 wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it (laughs) let's check out the merch matt and i walk over to a small booth in a corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records he singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair step on on up Get your merch here. I got t-shirts. I got tank tops. I got all the gifts and accoutrement a discerning concert goer of considerable taste might want you. I gesture to myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you. You look like a fellow who knows their music. How's about a fine 12-inch long playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pup, Canada's premier punk rock outfit? Uh, dot, dot, dot. Tally ho, good sir, and please stop yelling at me. I really like please stop yelling at me, but we can... I I really like please stop yelling at me too, but I do feel like uh, dot, dot, dot is the most Lars response to whatever is happening right now. Okay. (laughs) 
I sense some hesitation in your voice, buddy. Let me assure you on my reputation as a salesman of the highest caliber that this record cannot and will not let you down. Okay, Pablo, you could give it a rest. The teen hops off of his chair and takes a seat. Your friend looked lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high-five, but also turn it into a hug. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I can make that connect. And have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? That's Lars. Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is Lars cool? Pablo looks like he's about to punch Matt in the face. I but... know. What is this? <laughs> Matt eyes me. I eye <laughs> him back. He cracks a smile. Yeah. Aw. <laughs> Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude. <laughs> I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy two pats on the back, as is customary in our society for people you don't know super well, but still want to be friendly to. Pablo's a total card. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. Yeah, man, when are we starting our witch house band? You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You know Vacant Vale would have slayed. <laughs> It'll slay once <laughs> you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. Over in the uh, chat, Dan is being thirsty over Pablo until they realize that Pablo is an actual teenager. Pablo um, might be 18. That's true. I'm just um, saying. And Alex has joined us. Hello, Alex. Hi, Alex. Glad to have you here. While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. I, I don't know how they're just like walking around this place and not having to like elbow th their way through. Right. Like I, I recently went to a concert at a small venue like this and it was, I mean, just like wall to wall people. You could not just, if you didn't get there early, you could not get up near the stage. Right. So I know. Like this is not possible. <laughs> yeah. Pup must not be very popular. Aww. <laughs> they're unpopular. That one was for James. <laughs> The band walks on stage and pick up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a mandolin slot. Mandolin, mandolin. Mandolin? Man mandolin? Mandolin? Yeah. Okay. Colin <laughs> is nodding at me that I have now pronounced it correctly. <laughs> okay. He has a mandolin slung behind his back. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Speakeasy Choir. My name is Daniel. Let's start the show. <laughs> oh no, these guys. What? <laughs> Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most cacophonous noise I've ever heard. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. <laughs> Thanks. I put the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assaulting my ears gets a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they seem they sure do seem to be having fun, and I guess that's what really matters. Jesus, did that cellist just break his bow in half? I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs, and I think one of the band members' jobs is, spe to spe <laughs> is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turn to Matt and try to start a conversation. So you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? <laughs> Ask again or drop it. If it was me, IRL, I would drop it. So I don't know. Which means Lars is probably going to ask again because <laughs> Lars is nothing if not extremely awkward. Okay. <laughs> so you go to a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? <laughs> Third time's a charm? Really? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so, you. Uh, yeah. 
<laughs> Matt turns back his attention to the show. Oh, hey, well, we, we got, got hearts. hearts. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> he can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. Matt and I both pull our earplugs out. Man, that was something. I promise Pup is much better. I just dot, 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 have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answer to. Oh, yeah. He sprains his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Let's grab another beer. Matt and I work our way out of the crack to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded in here. There, now it's crowded. Yeah, I kind of forgot that they were just going to see the opener, even though Matt had just said that. Yeah, that's okay. We grab our beers and I try to follow Matt back to our spot, but there are so many people that I'm having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, seeing nothing but a sea of hip 20-somethings. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if... Suddenly, a hand reaches out to grab me. It's Matt. Almost lost you, buddy. Whew, I got really nervous for a second there. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back toward the stage. Aw. That's I nice. I can feel myself blushing a little. So wholesome. We finally settle back into our spot and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Yeah, Pup really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? <laughs> oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way you are, that's magic. I suddenly have the urge to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. I've never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeeze my way out of the crowd toward the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wing going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. Aww. I make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage as Pup plays their first song. How am I ever gonna find Matt now? It's time for a mini game. Mini game. Wish me luck. Oh God. Everyone's everyone's rushing up to the main stage to see Pup play. I'm sure Matt will be up there too. I gotta get up there without being trampled by all these rowdy youths. Avoid those youths. Avoid those youths. Go. Okay. Oh, you got bounced. They need to get out of the way is the problem. They're well, in my way. <laughs> they are in your way. Okay, usually I feel like they move a little faster, but that's fine. Aw, this is kind of a cute little game, though. I want to get through this crowd. Ah! Oh, get that heart. Oh, God. Aw, hearts. Man, you're getting beat all to hell, though. <laughs> I know. I've done a lot better at this one before. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Yay, ow. <laughs> Yay, ow. Got a heart. Yay, ow. Uh-oh, they're, they're moving oh faster. God. 
I know. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ow. Hearts. I don't like these red shirt guys. Yeah, the red shirt. Th- yeah. The- Ow. Those guys are jerks. <laughs> okay, we're doing... How we're- big is this concert venue? We're doing good. There's a lot of stages on this concert venue and a lot of bathrooms, which is pretty crazy. Oh, God. Oh, I got yeah. stuck for a second. Yeah, there's so many bathrooms, Lars. You should have gone to a closer bathroom. <laughs> right? So many stages. Ow. Ah! Oh, man, I missed the heart. Oh, oh, God. That's okay. Oh, God. Just don't get pushed off. Can you get pushed off the thing? Oh, I hope not. Now I'm scared of that. <laughs> Just stay in the middle. Ooh. Oh, my God. My goodness. This is... Okay, there's only... There's... 18 seconds left yeah it's just till the timer runs out right okay okay i think i assume that you have two minutes forever yeah i assumed that you had two minutes to get there and if you don't get there in two minutes Ah! oh they're about to be back oh god run lars run Ah! go lars Ah! go 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 Ah! oh i survived the crowd oh thank god i really do wonder if you could have gotten like booted out into the middle of the or out into the try that next time yeah just try to die <laughs> <laughs> just to see what happens mm-hmm. yeah i thought that you like had to get to a certain point before the timer ran out but you just had to survive the game survive I guess. yeah and not not get trampled i'm finally able to work my way through the crowd to where matt originally was but he's nowhere to be found shoot well i guess i should keep look I'm bumped into from behind, and I find myself in the middle of a bunch of youths oh, no. running around in a circle to the music. I'm in the pit. How do I get out of the pit? Out of nowhere, a youth shoulders himself into me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey, <laughs> I guess I'm moving in the circle now. <laughs> I frantically search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of youths rhythmically slamming into each other. Another youth slams into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it. <laughs> this is how I die, trampled under the boots of counterculture. Someone grabs my hand. Someone familiar. I look up and see Matt. He's he pulls so, he's me like our back savior. up. I know. He pulls me back up onto my feet and everything. Aw. You're wild, dude. Eggplants. Hell yeah. Matt throws his arm around me and we jump back into the circle, bashing into use left and right as Puff plays a killer solo. Why are they back in the pit? Because they're wild. I guess. (laughs) I didn't know you messed with the pit. (laughs) Me neither. (laughs) I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physical activity, (laughs) but I'm having fun. The song ends and the pit finally dissipates. Everybody cheers on Pup. Maybe I only got pit, uh, uh, bleh. (laughs) Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. Hang on, sorry, I have to plug my computer in, which I didn't do before we started the stream, which is stupid. Okay, there we go. Uh, all right man let's retreat we'll show these kids how it's done another day we work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance pup put on an amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off stage after their encore with the concert over the crowd starts making their way to the exit hey i'll meet you outside gotta say bye to a couple people i hang out outside the venue until matt finally shows up Hey, man. Thanks for waiting. I got your present. Matt hands me the t-shirt I was looking at earlier. Aw. Whoa, thanks, man. Saw you eyeballing it back at the merch booth. And I mean, anyone who tears it up that hard on their first time back to a concert deserves a reward. The youths will finally accept me. Amanda will love this. I'm never taking this off. (laughs) I'm leaning towards I'm never taking this off because I want to get those eggplants. All right. Yeah, I bet that'll give it. I hope. Well, I will continually wear it until it is tattered and a little smelly so that I can truly embody punk fashion. Hey, Matt. Oh, I was really hoping for. I know, I was too. Eggplants. Hey, it's Pup. Hey, dude. They all talk in unison. <laughs> hey, dude. Didn't realize you were here. 
so glad I could make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks. <laughs> well, see you around. Okay. I'm so glad they stopped to come over and talk to us. All right. Dot, dot, dot. Wait, you know Pop? Oh, yeah. I met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Whoa. Come on. Let's grab some diner food. I suddenly realized just how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits take a lot out of you. Matt and I walk into a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. So there I am in the pit trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seeing red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering toward me and there's nowhere to go. It's the end for me, right? Then I don't know where I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms. And just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in <laughs> slow motion. You should have seen the look on his face. Bought him a beer afterward and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Glad you guys worked it out. Yeah, man, just goes to show that punks, or just goes to show you that punk's not dead. He just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. Oh, it's true. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> so how did you get to see all of these amazing concerts? Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us to travel all around the States. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, we were poor and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive, but I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in a town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own and you could tell it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's really nice of you. Thanks. A single parents just really have to look out for each other. How's Carmen Sita? She says she wants to learn the drums. Oh boy. It'll be loud and I'll need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I'm suddenly very grateful that all of my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography, collaging, whatever it is that she does on the internet. Thanks, Amanda. <laughs> I'm... Trying to be supportive of Carmen Sita's rebellious phase, but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it would be a good daddy-daughter activity to find something to rebel against together. Like what? Fashion, hmm. consumerism, or big budget remakes of foreign films. Hmm. Hmm. Hard choice. I feel like big budget remakes of foreign films is the type of thing that Matt already rebels against. Right. Should we go for it? Yeah, let's try it. Okay. See if we can get those eggplants. Nope. Guess reading not. Sub <laughs> reading subtitles isn't even that hard. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. He and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy diner food. The breakfast I ordered for dinner is absolutely hitting the spot. Man, being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to talk to. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I get really nervous sometimes talking to people. Matt gets nervous talking to people? But he's so cool. <laughs> Me too. I've never really considered myself an extrovert and never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation always. <laughs> uh, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to. You know that? Dan is also surprised that we didn't get eggplants considering yeah, that Matt specifically said he loved foreign films. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it, but I don't know. Maybe it, it's helping us in the long run. I hope so. I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. Tonight was a blast, man. 
loved it. Although I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. <laughs> you and me both. I uh, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. All right. I'm calling it quits for the night. Stay cool, man. He called me cool. <laughs> Matt called me cool. <laughs> Lars, you're such a dork. He's so adorable. I love him so much. I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from her room. Hey, Pops, how was the show? <laughs> Matt thinks I'm cool. You don't say. Amanda Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool. <laughs> blind leading the blind, huh? <laughs> wow, I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, Amanda, remind me which one of us just tore it up in the pit at a punk show and which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Amish Triplets Extreme Edition? First of all, how dare you? That show was a classic. Second of all, you moshed in the pit? Who even are you? I am your extremely cool dad. All right. I'm hitting the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. <laughs> what? Night, kiddo. Uh, date complete. Date complete. How'd we do? Looks like we did okay at everything but earplugs. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh, because we kept talking. That's why. Oh, A rank. Okay. That's not so bad. I wonder if we had just given up. Maybe. I don't know, oh, but he gave us wow. eggplants. That's true. So apparently what's happening over in the chat, Pup is apparently an actual band. <laughs> Nice. All right. That's um, cool. So Erica had asked how, she said, I wonder how they got the specific band to make a cameo. Um, weird. Yeah, that's wild. I mean, like the people that produce this game are like real folks. Like one of my friends you, um, you is don't like- don't say they're not imaginary people. <laughs> like so they might be friends with, <laughs> friends with people in Pup or something. Like yeah. one, of, one of my friends I found out is like friends with some of the people that worked on this game. Like, so- Anyway, oh, okay. Uh, so. uh, Colin would like us to note that there are two 69s in our total. That oh, is double yeah. nice. Fuck yes. Nice, nice. All right. All right. Do we want to take a quick break? I would like to take a quick break, and I'm not going to hide it this time. I'm going to go get my dinner and eat it while we do the second half. So, okay. <laughs> Last time I was trying to be sneaky, but it wasn't working. So, just, just um, be upfront about it. <laughs> right. So, I'm doing that this time. Um, right. Yeah. Let's take a quick break, and then we'll come back and figure out our course of action. Sounds good. Great. <laughs> 